Morning in progress. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, good morning, Jeremiah. How are you today? I'm doing great. Let me uh, get a fixed position for this lovely device. Here, yeah. SBT, Gravel, oh, sorry, BWR, um, Asheville. That was last weekend. So, yeah, down here in lovely hendersonville north carolina at lake canuga resort and conference center for a little bit of fun awesome what are you what are you doing down there today well we've got a big race obviously setting up for canyon i'll give you a little peek at the venue here um just got my number plate um in the race headquarters but all of our event team is out here setting up for the 100 mile big gravel race that's uh taking place tomorrow so it's about 100 miles there's three different routes the um gist of it though is uh mixed surface and about 1400 people registered it's going to be real big big uh fun race we've got former team skyrider ian boswell in the house we've got uh tiffany cromwell from canyon tram women's team uh hang on our side for uh race victory hopefully um in Canada racing the gravel, uh, Trans Rockies Royale gravel stage race. So I'm the only Canyon athlete I think I'm going to be buying for the front of the race. So guess we'll see. Still racing in my, my older years. So <laughs> having <laughs> fun with it. See if it can tangle with these boys. So are you going to do video for, for this? Or are you just doing audio? No, we're doing video. So that's, that's cool. That was great to see the Canyon right. tent, etc. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Well, Maybe I can just post up, um, grab a chair and post up out here somewhere. Um, you can see these guys setting up in the background. Just a ton of work that goes into, um, you know, building these event venues. I was, uh, you know, bringing the truck and trailer down last night. And, um, yeah, just loading that thing takes about four or five hours. Um, we've got several mechanics. We've got a great event team. We've got several bikes on display. And we're just getting everything set up here uh, for the big show. It's going to be fun. That's awesome. I, I know, uh, you know, uh, Lupine, Germany has a real close relationship with Canyon. Uh, they use mm -hmm. our lights and there's a lot of different mounts. So when I was looking at uh, Impossible Route and you guys were on Grails, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to... Um, uh, look a lot more at Canyon and it's just, they're doing great stuff. And I, I was dying to ask you how you like that, you know, that biplane handlebar setup. Um, I love it. You know, honestly, the, the, the bar is intended for flex. It's not just for looks. Uh, it's really giving you some ergonomic benefit when you have, um, sort of the, the top hand position is actually swept. So it's, it's a real nice hand position in addition to the fact that it's, absorbing a lot of shock so we've got uh, a lot of cool stuff going on with that bar it also has a flare to it which a lot of people don't realize about five mil of travel on the hoods and on the drops and then actually on the tops of the bars uh, about 10 millimeters of travel when you're hitting really big bumps so going down gravel roads with no suspension it comes in handy i'll probably use the grail for this uh setup i need to find um the irc guys and get some tires set up um yeah, we're actually starting our next impossible route on Thursday at about 4 a.m. in uh, Telluride, Colorado. You gonna lend me some lights, Bill? Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how soon do you need them? Oh, gee, uh, I fly to Colorado on Tuesday morning, uh, super early, out of Shenandoah Valley Regional Airport. Meet the team out there. Uh, this episode coming up, uh, Ryan Tree. Uh, also Canyon athlete self and, um, be, we're hoping to get in with Denmark and then Karen Jarchow is a phenomenal athlete, but have some issues. I think this is maybe one of the hardest rides we'll do all year. And we've been doing pretty much nothing but hard rides all year. So I just, uh, you know, been, yeah. uh, it's great to see. What bike will you be using? 
likely. We might be able to Rizzle, which is the new adventure bike packing bike, but um, it's super bony, super rough, big exposed rocks up there above tree line. The average is 12 to 13. Jeep's really, you know, chewed it up a bit. So it's um, more likely going to be a good route for the Exceed hardtail uh, or Lux. So I think the guys, uh, yeah, they, they kind of made the call, you know, without suspension and without, you know, putting on a really big gearing in the back, we should probably just ride the mountain bikes for this one. So I'm um, running sort of the hardtail, which is sort of the more extreme version of the, the dirt road uh, spectrum. You know, we've got our gravel world spectrum at Canyon, um, which will run all the way from Endurace for a course like this, probably could ride an Endurace, maybe a Grail. If it gets really rough, like Glacier to Teton, Grizzle. And then, you know, when it gets really bony, uh, Silk Road, James Mark Hayden uh, rode the um, Exceed, you know, bike packing setup. Some people even put a drop bar on the Exceed to run it that way. Wow. That's interesting. So um, you'll have basically straight mountain bike bars. And because I'm thinking about what light you might want to mount on those bars. Yeah, I really just need something super light that'll last for three hours, you know, a medium run. And that's going to be about it because we're, we're trying to run pretty light on this one. Start in the dark, finish in the daylight. Cutoff time is going to be sunset. So it's sort of a unique game. You know, you kind of pick your own start time. But uh, the earlier you start, the more miserable, cold, dark riding you're to do. Yeah, right? got it. So maybe it's better to start, you know, and just to hit the first climb in the dark. And yeah. then actually, you know, be done with your night riding after your first, like, 45 minute hour long climb, you know, we'll, we'll sort of play it out, but, um, yeah, it'd be really, uh, pretty interesting to see how it goes. You know, each one of these are completely different and the impossible routes really is just born out of our, you know, curiosity for the limits, you know, races are kind of two dimensional, but the impossible routes, three dimensional, you have the course, you've got the challenge challenge. can be totally wild. You've got the logistics navigation. And you don't even know if anybody's ever finished the route before. Uh, in most cases, each one of our routes, Mauna Kea, Death Valley, um, Trans-Appalachian, Lost Roads, Glacier to Teton, and now Telluride, Hellride. None of these routes have actually been finished um, until you know we go and try them. So <laughs> there's a lot of what ifs. That stuck with me uh, when I watched the impossible route, Death Valley. And yeah. uh, you said, man, you really stretched yourself. And that's what's great about these uh, rides that you're doing, because even with all of your racing over all the years, uh, there's still room for expansion there uh, relative to self. Absolutely. You know, I think that's the thing, Bill. I'm going to walk over and show you our, uh, our setup. We're not quite totally set up, but I had to talk about a couple of these bikes uh, since, you know, I mentioned them. Um, I've been doing this a long time, Bill. I mean, you saw me when I was a 19 year old kid racing in uh, South Central Pennsylvania, grew up in Maryland. Um, and man, just, it was so awesome. It was a really neat time in the sport, a lot of energy, a lot of newness to it. And every race you go to was the first time you've ever seen it. Yeah. There's something cool about that. Um, and I think that newness and excitement has, has really helped breathe some new life into my career. Because, hey, you know, once you've done lead times, once you've done Shenandoah 100 15 times, <laughs> yeah, those nice. races are, are really fun. You know, they're wonderful. I, I find them rewarding. Most rewarding thing seeing my friends, honestly. Uh, but I'm not scared of the course. Like, I know what's out there. And I think when we look at the impossible rides and, and the whole theme is you're kind of nervous, you know, are, are you going to make it? So I think that's such a, such a great, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great thing. And I, and I think also when you look at, um, you know, my age as an athlete, I'm now 45 years old. So it's not like I'm getting any younger and you know, it, it's, it's one of those things you're doing their mic tech over here. Um, yeah, it's kind of one of those things that, uh, you know, you're getting older, your top, <laughs> that one's definitely hotter. <laughs> yeah. So I think that, um, the neat thing is you get, 
you know, with the impossible routes, some new toys, the gravel stuff's been fun. I'm definitely a mountain biker and need to do more. Um, so this fall, pretty stoked. Marathon Nationals is in Maryland at Gamble State Park. Been riding there forever. Right. I remember racing oh, there in the day too. Going to be pretty cool. Going to be pretty cool. But yeah, as far as a, a, an arc, a story arc for my career, you know, I spent a lot of time racing, traveling the world. Racing World Cups, Marathon Worlds, uh, Cape Epic, Trans Alp, Andalusia bike race, racing in Latin America. And man, it's it's neat how I'm finding things I haven't yet done on the bike. And yeah, I mean that's from it's it's sort of looking at the opportunity because I'm still 95% as fast as I've ever been. You know, yeah. I've lost you no know, five, seven percent, whatever. Uh, but the thing is. I'm 150% for navigation. I'm 140% for wisdom and knowledge out there for expedition riding, um, preparation, uh, timing, nutrition, all those things. I'm operating like way above when I was in my 20s or even 30s. Um, and so for expedition riding, it's really an opportunity to do some awesome stuff. So I'm excited about about it. It's really fun. I love the energy that you're that you're you know going into age forty five and you've got this energy just to do more and more and just like you said, in spite of all the stuff you've already done, and that's kind of why I wanted to uh, talk to you because that's inspirational for me. I'm sixty five and I I still want to do that stuff, you know. And I think yeah. all of us on the bike, um, you know, always are looking for that new energy, for that new inspiration, and go. That's what I want to do next. I want to do some of that too. And so you provide that. And that's why I was jazzed to talk to you about everything and, you know, uh, take a look at the, the Canyon tent behind you to sh show us around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So the crew just set up the tent and, um, basically our activations here are going to be, we've got the Canyon grizzle, the new packing machines got, got some Apodora bags on it this is not my bike this is one of the uh demo bikes as you can see with this qr code there but uh canyon's partnered with apodora to make these custom bags some of the fun things you'll see on this are the side mounts for water bottles uh luggage then we've got um fender mounts which are pretty cleverly and stuffily um included on this bike but really it's just a fantastic machine for uh gravel adventure um we're also going to have i uh, needed to get my set on this bike this is my bike from the mauna Kea ride uh, first impossible route death valley you can see how polished the top tube is from the bag yeah it's insane um the bike's running great i just need to get uh the cassette and chain over there i don't have any um 12 speed parts to spare so i've been swapping that rear cassette between the two but everybody knows getting parts is like this year yeah. um this is the new bike, though. This is the display bike that we'll have up on the podiums. This is the Grail CFSL. Great bike. So this one's equipped with GRX. Really phenomenal machine. Super good value, too. And there is the um, Flex bar. This uh, double-decker bar is obviously catches a ton of attention. I love it, though. Uh, again, as I said, that people don't realize, but this top bar actually has a rear facing arc, a little bit of flare, which you could probably see from the sort of uh, top yeah. view. Yeah, that looks good. Each side. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's, uh, you know, really futuristic, also a retro. It goes as far as the flare, as far as the hand positions. Um, Kyle, our digital media guy, came down to help us out. This is his. Uh, strive obviously nothing to do with gravel but he's going to go and hit the trails up at lake Tanuka. i'm also going to probably sneak out there and check it out so on display we have these display and stuff set up but like i said the guys and gals took a break to go get breakfast um which is very briefly and then you hear it does not open uh, so that's why you see uh it's a bit empty everybody went early on and it's going to be pretty nuts here in about an hour. This is the uh, Canyon Grail on. So this is a pretty exciting bike. 
I think is pretty exciting yeah, because wow. getting around yeah. the bike is super fun. Um, I like to borrow this one if I can. Uh, just getting around the pits, the snowshoe world cup will be a blast on it. It'll be super fun. Um, but yeah, this thing has got uh, multiple different modes. One of the things that is cool about it fits bigger tires. So yeah. I think it was pretty wise for the Canyon engineers, some of which who I know, uh, to allow for bigger tires. The chassis of the bike is eh, slightly bigger. You're carrying a little bit more weight, not much more weight. Um, but I think just having the option, a lot of the e-bike riders, you know, want to go and have luggage or a backpack or, you know, bike bags and having a little bit more tire under you with that extra speed, I think is nice. This one tops out at 28 miles per hour. So Bill, I think this is your pick. Yeah. This yeah, sucker sure. will let you go far as you want and you can pedal as hard as you want. You just put that sucker in econ mode. And uh, we'll go out and rip the, uh, you know, rip the, the gravel off it. So, um, yes, yeah, so oh, we've that's got where uh, the uh, kickers. Yeah, that's where uh, the Lupine Marriage and Canyon plays out because we have a great e-bike line of lights that uh, we're working with Canyon on. So I'm jazzed to awesome. uh, see how that uh, has how that plays out. But yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, that sounds great. I've actually used it. Um, e-bike for motor pacing too which is super cool right um, i was thinking about man. that beats the old van like we used to do with the band doors open in the back so you could hear stereo <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know man but you're probably playing like uh guns and roses and <laughs> and like grateful dead grateful dead yeah <laughs> <laughs> of course uh so good so um yeah so what else is going on in the tent there yeah that that e-bike looked terrific it's it's really awesome um yeah we'll, we'll see at this point right now we're gonna have uh three bikes set up on these wahoo trainers we found these platforms because we're set up in the grass and we realized that the feet are gonna sink in yeah but, um yeah for this event and the world cup at snowshoe we partnered together briefly with wahoo um their tents are over there they're just starting to get set up um but yeah we're going to have some bikes for people to test out, just try them out for size, just, uh, you know, sort of check out the fit. We're not doing demo here, um, but we are going to do some prize giveaways uh, at the finish line. We'll do hats and T-shirts and, um, yeah, just help build the stoke. So we've got uh, IRC, like I said, as a tire panel. So I'll be over there talking tire tech. <clears throat> I haven't seen the course, though, to be honest. I do know it finishes with this, like, wet grass. And sort of double track looking bit over here. So I'm eager to see at least that start finish. I know some of the course here. I think it's a good course for IRC 30. I think it, there's a 36 uh, Boken uh, double, double uh, cross. That would probably be the jam. So maybe we'll walk over there, see Chris with IRC. I'll ask him what tire I should run. It's really funny. <laughs> We'll be like, hey, by the way, you're on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you're on the Gretna Bill. I show. think it'd be pretty funny. So, um, yeah, this is this kind of like, uh, you know, been fun. Uh, whole gravel. Yeah. And uh, are you freezing up there? Yep. Yeah, I have, a, I have a Wi-Fi leash. I realized. Well, I'll have to show you the tires later, Bill. <laughs> All right. The Wi Fi. Yeah. Leave. So, um, yeah, got it. Nice way. To yeah. Looking it. forward to Marathon Nationals. I think that's going to be pretty. Uh, we've got. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, we've got uh, basically uh, a couple months on the event side with Ken. Um, we have this event, possible routes next week. I come back from that and uh, probably do Shenandoah 100. Um, then a lot of prep for the Alpine Loop Grand Fondo. We've got our 11th annual event in Harrisonburg, September 26th. Whole lot of party, whole lot of bike ride. Uh, so we've been ramping up for that. It's going to be a blast. Um, also kind of like a all road event. It's not really like, uh, heavy gravel, but you know, probably 35% gravel or so really fun event, you know? And with the Fonda tile, it's paved. 
uh, or excuse me, All right. Well, I guess we lost Jeremiah there. He's got to get ready for that big ride anyway today. And um, thanks, Jeremiah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for that brief uh, tour of the Canyon Tent. And uh, that was awesome. We look forward to seeing you at Snowshoe in a couple of weeks. Well, more like three or four weeks. And um, yeah, so we'll see you then. And um, great chatting with you. And uh, let me know about your address and maybe we can hook you up with a light before next Tuesday or this Tuesday. Yeah. Hit me an address and handlebar size and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. Thanks again, Jeremiah. And uh, we're signing off. Great chatting with you. Maybe we can catch up again soon when we get better internet connection. All right. Peace out. Long live long rides. <laughs>